just received a call from one of our contractors. Um, seems like we've got a slight issue at the property, one of our properties. The um, water was left on in one of the bathrooms and now has overflown. So we're on our way. Ken has already left and he's probably is going to beat me there. Hopefully it's not going to be a lot of damage. Luckily and thankfully the floors had not been do done in the basement yet. So um, as far as any damage to new floors, we don't have to worry about that. But I'm just really, just really want to see it. I'm wondering how far out the water went from the bathroom. Um, because the last time we were at the property was two days ago. <laughs> so not really sure um, how that happened. Don't know, you know, we'll see the extent of the damage when we get there. So this goes back to one of the things that I was mentioning in a video previously when I mentioned if you are going to <clears throat> invest in real estate, having a strong heart is something that is definitely needed because, I mean, things happen. Like, unexpected things will happen. So it's always good to have included in your numbers expenses allocated just for the unexpected because, I mean, it happens. Even in the best of situations, um, it may not be supplies, it may be an incident like this, or it, just, it's just, it can be a variety of different things that could occur. So always have in your budget um, for your renovation money set aside and designated specifically for emergencies. So when things like this happen, you're not taken off track always have that in your final number so it's included so you know that's just the cost of doing business is emergencies will happen unexpected things will happen when you are renovating properties it's just a name the name of the game let's see the extent of the damage so at the property now to see the extent of the damage the workers are here of course still working and Ken has, um, like I said, beat me here to the property, so we'll see how everything looks. Not that bad. It has actually the water overflowed all the way here to the kitchen, but it's not bad at all, thank God. And the floors hadn't even started being worked on. I see Ken is here getting it up already. He's using a shop back to get the water up. So this is the source of where the water came from, from looks like from the sink. And it just flowed down to the floors. Thankfully, um, thankfully it wasn't a lot of damage, so it wasn't really any damage. So the um, water did overflow into the lower level, but looks like we got to it or the contractors discovered it in enough time that it didn't cause any damage. Uh, the floors got wet, but the floors weren't, they're not the newer floors. Ken is using the shop vac to get it up not costing us any additional expenses thank god um, we already had a shop back one good tool to always have as a renovator if you're rehabbing flipping homes a landlord all, a real estate investor make sure you have a shop back that is something that you definitely will use and need <laughs> at some point okay so um now we've just left the property and thank god it wasn't uh, much damage it wasn't hardly any yeah, damage, no damage at all, at all. So. it's just a matter of cleaning the water up yep but we're at one of our favorite stores in town now where we get good deals and you know what the people in georgia are so friendly as we came into the store we were met by another customer 
who was equally impressed by right. this store and showed us photos on his phone of how he did his kitchen and everything. And right. He was so impressed that he, he saved he so much so money and it looked good. It, it, it was a nice uh, product. But anyway, we're, we're here today to get a little insight on how to do our breakfast bar, um, a countertop. In the lower level of that basement. Right, right. So we're gonna to talk to uh, either the manager or one of the workers here about options for the countertop bar. Time to go shopping. I like that one. That one is nice. Upstairs, that's very nice. That, it's a natural stone. I mean, it's very. If this one has like the gray is thicker, so you got like it looks like mark slate. Yeah, it looks like yeah, slate. That's exactly what I was telling you. I wanted a slate like look. And then the, uh, that one is nice. Except the countertops are gonna well our. Um, Cabinets are going to be white, so well they are white now. Yeah. So that's we may want to go with a darker yeah. color in the countertop. Basement kitchen. So, yeah, let's lay it on the floor, babe. It's not gonna be next to each other like that. That's gonna be good. That's a good match. That's good. Yeah, that's a sample of the floor, so, and that's the countertop that we'll actually use. Looks like a very good match. So back in the car, um, thank God the um, water issue wasn't a major issue. So of course you all saw that the faucet did overflow there in the basement, didn't create a big issue at all. In fact, the guys do not have to wait for the flooring to complete dry, completely dry because they are just going to take up the existing floor to put down the new floor. So that was a blessing that the floors weren't already done. So we didn't have any damage to that. And then also um, we were able to um, go ahead and shop for the countertops. That's gonna be installed today. So the guys are installing all of that today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. And also connect with us on Facebook, Flipping Augusta with Ken and Delrisa. See you in the next video. Bye.